So far with the code we have, we've really just utilized one specific object, and that's the geolocation object of the uh, geolocation uh, API, or spec. Uh, the geolocation isn't given us any actual information as far as the latitude or longitude, the coordinates. It's just saying whether or not it has the ability, and if it does, did it successfully get the coordinates? Now, what we're looking to do next is actually build a position object um, that is going to have that information. Now, if you look at the spec, you'll notice it's it's called the position interface specifically. Now, the, the position object, it, it essentially has two attributes over here. One is the timestamp, and it says when the geo location was determined and the other one is the coordinates the right here C O O R D S and this is what we're going to use to actually get the uh, coordinates of the user so let's look at how we're going to do this now first order business is well where are we going to put this position element that we're talking about here well the only time we're actually going to need it is when we've successfully received the current position of the user so we're going to target our get location function now currently I have uh, basically this document write business over here and I'm going to comment this out because this is not very useful uh, the second thing I'm going to do is actually in this function that I created this get location uh, I'm gonna put what I want to what I wanted to have so I'm gonna put kinda like the callback function if you will is gonna be the position so what we're doing now is, is setting the stage to grab the information and put it into position uh, into this position by the way so let's start with what we're gonna do next well inside of this function we're going to create a variable actually two variables one is going to be the latitude now mind you this is my own naming convention nothing nothing to do with the uh, geolocation spec and we'll say equals and what is it going to equal well we need to target the position object which is part of the HTML uh, the geolocation spec and then inside of that object it has some attributes and that's the coordinates okay now inside of those coordinates there's either latitude or longitude actually to be clear there's a couple of things over here we have latitude longitude altitude accuracy altitude accuracy heading and speed but um, anything with a double and a question mark means that it's not guaranteed that you'll get it back so um, when you're using geolocation on a web browser you'll you you won't get the altitude because it doesn't have the capabilities of doing that uh, unless your device does but that's kind of beyond the scope of this and obviously if it can't do altitude there's no altitude accuracy it could do and heading and speed also aren't going to be uh, available these I'm pretty sure heading and speed only happen via GPS specifically and on my laptop I don't have GPS I'm just being tra and that's what I'm recording these videos on I'm just being uh, basically my geolocations being derived by my IP address so uh, what I will get back are these three things the accuracy latitude and longitude and so with that said actually I'm gonna I said I was gonna create two variables well since I'm here let's create three of them so we'll do var latitude and that's what we want and we want position because position has this in the timestamp coordinates chords and now the actual latitude and as I'm th as I'm making this video now I'm thinking that I may even grab the timestamp too while I'm at it so alright so var latitude we got that so now let's do longitude okay and I'm gonna copy that and make sure I put it at the back again 
the since I'm naming this variable, I can name it whatever I want, but this position that chords that longitude I need to have. And uh final one is we're gonna do accuracy. Accuracy and there we go. So these are the elements that I'm actually pulling from it. Okay. And I think quite simply um as far those are the coordinates because chord these latitude longitude and accuracy are all properties of the coordinates but i think that i could quite simply also get the time stamp if i take time stamp and pop it in just like that yeah now we're not actually doing anything with this but we are retrieving this information. So if actually, no, 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 we could do more than that. Why don't we do now, since we have these variables, we'll do alert. And in our dialog, we'll say um, lat equals, and I'll put that in there, and we'll put latitude. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an alert box, kind of a mix of strings and variables over here that's going to see allow me to determine that I actually got all this stuff properly um, that dude yeah let me put that over here bear with me accuracy timestamp I guess we'll figure this out right now if I guess I could have just tried this before I went and looked at the spec but sometimes it gets annoying just to try and fail you know you might as well do a more educated guess so let's see all right so alert is gonna first here's the text and then here's the variable which is gonna be a value longitude it's gonna be text and here's the actual value accuracy Okay, let's give this a go, shall we? Let's try it in Safari. Check your geolocation, allow, and nice. Okay, so we do, in fact, have some cool information over here. You see that we do have a latitude for it. We have a longitude value. We have accuracy, and we have a timestamp. Now, um, obviously, this is not that cool, but uh, it's getting more interesting.